Hi everyone, my name is Steve Lawson from the global marketing team for the MR Business. My name is Anja Fofana, also part of the global marketing team. So a few years ago when we launched the AirCoil, we knew our customers would be needing a, a very smart, intelligent way to be able to select the coil configuration on the system. So uh, for our technologists and radiographers, uh, having a very high density or high channel count coil on the table um, imaging the patients, they wouldn't necessarily need to think about individual coil configurations. They would just simply want to be able to move the imaging volume to the uh, desired anatomy and then get great results each time. So with that, we came up with a great technology called AirTouch. Yeah, and Air AirTouch does all the work for you because uh, what we do when we use AirTouch is before the localizer even starts, we are creating a sensitivity map on the patient. So what we do during that uh, coil calibration is we open up the entire coil uh, elements on the patient and also on the scanner itself. And then after the coil calibration has been finished, we know exactly which coil elements are where on the patient and AirTouch does the rest for you. So whenever you move your field of view, only the coil elements will be active, which are really needed and which are in the field of view. And even at a PSD level, um, sometimes there are PSDs that are being selected that might be more sensitive to out of field of view artifacts. The system is smart enough to optimize at a PSD level. And when we look at acceleration, AirTouch does help as well. So the system does exactly know how much we accelerate and in case we accelerate high, for sure we want to maintain the same image quality. That is why AirTouch will just enable more coil elements in the field of view to just maintain the same image quality, which is great. Yeah, absolutely. So let's head over to the scanner. We can show you guys what it's all about. Uh, the air workflow means that we are using air touch for coil setup. So I will close the navigator window here since we have finished it. And you can see now that I prescribed just a tiny SI coverage. And I can just move through the entire abdomen and you can see that the blue lines are just following my field of view. And that is what AirTouch does. It does exactly understand uh, how much coverage we need for that field of view and understands um, to, to, to um, customize this coil setup for that sequence, um, thinking about the acceleration we are using in that regards and um, everything else. So in that case, I just want to cover the kidneys here. Maybe I use some more slices. Yeah, that's really nice about AirTouch. Um, you know, before in the past, there was a, a list of configurations. Sometimes technologists would have to, or, or they would feel like they needed to go s turn those on, um, not really being so sure of which configuration was the correct one to use. AirTouch really automates this whole process. You have these icons over to the right here, this page that uh, lists out all of the, um, basically, coils that are plugged into the table. So you just turn on the icon that you want to use and then as you graphically prescribe the coils are being selected for you. So another nice feature about AirTouch, um, you know with having this coil on the table like the air coil you're able to image quite an extended coverage right through through the Z direction. Uh, the coil is quite long so you can just simply place it over and you get a chest, abdomen, and pelvis without having to reposition um, the patient or the coil. So now we are switching even from the liver, going all the way down to the prostate without changing the patient setup, without changing the coil setup. I just go ahead and prescribe here the prostate and the pelvis. And you see how much coverage I still have left. So I can go all the way down um, until the coil coverage is ending. So I have an easy way to have always his entire pelvis covered as well.